Welcome back to Satisfactory, and today we're going to get started on our Heavy Modular Frame Factory. Uh, it's going to be way up here somewhere. Uh, you can see here I got a big old platform. Now, why do I have big old platform? Well, I'll check that out in a moment first. Let's see what kind of materials we need for this. Now I'm just going to select... I'm not going to be able to carry enough materials for everything right now. Uh, no, not that. Let's go to... Blueprints, and um, we'll just focus on the constructors. Constructors concrete. There we go. Uh, 72... How much is that going to cost me? Okay. I can do that. No problem. Rods. Um, cables. A lot of cables. That's not cables. Alright, I don't have enough inventory space. I need a lot of concrete for foundations. Alright, we'll, um, we'll work with that. That'll be enough. Anyway, the good thing about building near my home here is that materials are readily available. So I worked on my trains a little bit, my track. And I've got more of these support pillars. And we can go up. And here I've got four stations. I'm going to have a lot more than that. But, um, basically, this is. This whole area is going to be like my central hub, uh, in addition to my heavy modular frame factory. So I'm going to need a lot of train stations. I just built these four to see how it would look, how it would work. And I think it's going to work out pretty well. If I want more, I just add more uh, going in this direction. And there's the auto save. So the trains come in here, go into the station, and exit. I've got two freight platforms each, which will be more than enough. I'm I'm not going to have enough material coming in for three platforms uh, for any type of material, I'm sure. Um, I'm sure people make gigantic megabases... Uh, that are super efficient and use all of the resources on the map and in that case Maybe you need three or four platforms, but I'm not going to need it uh, Especially if you're transfer uh, transferring High volume stuff like ore, but I'm not doing that so It's not needed right now. It's uh, not in use, but this is why we're going to be bringing in all of our materials. Yeah. 
and uh, let's get started on the modular frames. Okay, this will be a good place to start. So what I'm going to do is um, the constructors and assemblers are going to be separated on two levels. So let's see, all of the constructors are going to take 576 width uh, divided by 2. Two eighty eight. On each level and um, can separate that again for 144 so we'll have a pathway in between okay anyway it'll it'll make sense once we get into it basically I'm gonna start from the center and then work my way out uh, side to side What is 144 divided by 8? That's 18. 18 foundations. Okay, so let's say... I'm just going to color this temporarily. This is the center line here. And this will be, I guess, the maintenance floor. Do I even need one for this setup? I don't know for sure, but... Probably good to have one. And we're out of concrete. Where's my concrete? I don't have to make all of the foundations now. I think I can get started with the constructors. Let's 
Let's see if we can get back up there. Yeah, I've got electricity on some of these supports. So I can use the hover pack to get up. Um, I, I didn't want to use um, the tubes. Because putting tubes on every support would actually cost a lot of power. Although I don't need them going up on every support, just on the ones I'm going to use frequently. So I probably will do that. And you can see I've got these power towers going down the track here. So, uh, progress is happening. I'll switch to jetpack. Okay, where is the center? This this line right here. All right, let's color it. Okay, so I want three. I want a, a three foundation pathway in between. That's fine. Let's build constructors 72 constructors divided by 2 divided by 2 18 there it is Oh my god, which side is the input? Which side is the output? I can never remember. Uh, I guess... The left side here is the input. Yeah, that has to be right. Okay. Okay, so we want to start here. That's not centered. That should be centered. Okay. Well, that's still not centered. Wait a minute, now it flipped around. Silly thing. Okay, that's right. I thought I had these uh, mergers and splitters centered. That is not quite centered. Uh, I gotta fix this. Let's build a blueprint designer.
Oh yeah, that's off. That's okay. Logistics. And hook that up. Oh, that's the input. Oh, dang it. Splitter. Did I? Oh, that's us facing the wrong way. Can't do this right. Okay, I got it now. There we go. And that is centered. Centered. Amazing. Save it. Override. Clear designer. Let's try this again. the autosave. That's weird. It looks... Okay, I think the input side is on the right side. Yeah, the output is on the left side. Okay. All right. Let's uh lock that in place right there. Now I think that's good. Amazing. Let's see, can I get power up here? Oh, so far. There we go. Too long, oh. All right, I'll have to do without my hover pack. I'll have to make do. Let's go to blueprint building mode. Are we facing the right way? Yes. How many do I need? 18? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Perfect. Now we go 18 in this direction. Goodbye, space elevator. Nice knowing you. We'll bring him back one of these days. But uh, after we get these encased and not encased industrial beams, um, the heavy modular frames, I do believe I'll be pretty close to automating one of the parts that I need for the space elevator. So uh, pressure conversion cube, yes. Which is needed for nuclear pasta. Nuclear pasta is not difficult. It's just a whole bunch of copper and pressure conversion cube and a lot of power for the particle accelerator. And the conversion cube is just fuse modular frame radio control unit. Uh, the radio control unit will be a little bit of work. I do have to automate com computers and uh, crystal oscillators. But uh, fuse modular frames will be ready to automate that. We'll have the heavy modular frames, the aluminum, uh, the nitrogen, all of that. Unless I want to use the alternate recipe, which I'm not really sure that I do. Lock that in place. That's pretty well centered. Looks amazing. Do it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen.
Okay, now we gotta do the same thing on this level, and that will be 72 constructors. And I'm almost out of iron plates. I'm going to try to use mostly, um, well, a lot of skylights on the top floor. Um, I'm going to try to rely on natural lighting rather than building uh, a whole bunch of lights just to keep the performance uh, you know under control And that's it. Oh, there's a power pole. Let's get some power up here. Auto save. Oh. I considered um, just doing like some kind of open factory design uh, just to uh, keep the, the save time to a minimum so my save games don't balloon up too much. Um, so I think I'm I'm not sure, but I think every everything that you build, walls, uh, factories, everything is like its own entity. And so if you have a a factory with a whole bunch of walls that's all walled off, that um will affect your save time. Yeah, I just don't know how they've optimized it. Maybe it doesn't at all. Um Maybe they optimize it in such a way where it it doesn't matter. I don't know. But, um... Ah, whatever. I'll just deal with it. Hopefully it doesn't get too bad. Alright, I am out of... Resources. And I'm actually running low... Not running low on concrete, but... We're using up quite a bit. Okay, am I going to be able to hover up there? I doubt it. I think those power poles are spread too far apart. I could make a... Yeah, this might be a good... Good spot for a hypertube. Ah, ah, no.
Yeah, let's do it. What the heck was that sound? Is that the hypertube? Okay, can I use it right now? Let's see. It doesn't have an entrance on the other side, but... Yeah, I guess it'll... It'll work. Oh god. Well... Alright. That's fine. We can uh, deal with this. Invalid shape, you say. There we go. Now we can get up and down without issue. Not that I had trouble getting down, but comes the manta ray. I don't think he's going to clip through. Pull up. Pull up. Well... Let's just ignore that. I like the way he kind of follows my train tracks without uh, clipping through them. But uh, yeah, he's definitely going to be clipping through my factory here. that in place. That looks good. Now let's uh, get some coloring. Mark. Oh god. Uh, Jeez. Oh god. Uh -uh. More power poles. All right, blueprint builder mode. And it's backwards, and now I think it's okay. Go for it. Three, four, five, six, seven. I need more power poles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 
15. 16. 17. No! Thank God for Blueprint Deconstruct. That is a nice tool as well. 18. Alright, that's where I ended down here, right? Should be same. Yeah, okay. Okay, I think that's right. That's lined up with these, so... Should be fine. Except it's backwards. Of course it's backwards. Four. Five. Six, seven, ah, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Wait a minute. doesn't line up either we need one more or we have one extra one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve stop that Let's, uh, let's try it this way. Okay, filter the constructors. How many we got? 18? That's correct. Yeah, as I suspected, we have too many down here. Or we started in the wrong spot. Aha! Get rid of that one. Okay, I think we're okay. Awesome. I think that's it. Let's uh, bring this whole uh, edge here back one more so we have some extra room to run around. Because we're going to be bringing uh, belts through here, so I want plenty of space to move around. Alright, now in front of these will be the assemblers. So we only need uh, 38 assemblers. 37.5, basically. Um, 38 divided by 4. Nine point five. Okay. So 
So we'll have uh, 10 assemblers on one side, 9 on the other side, and then uh, same thing down here on this level with a split in the middle in the same way. And uh, the manufacturers can be all on the same level. We only need one level for them. Alright, I'm going to get some more um, foundations built. And then next time we will build the assemblers for the encased beams. It's going to be sweet. Can't wait to get this done. Alright, thank you for watching.